Hi, this is Arlene, and I'm coming to you with Messages of the Heart, Part 3, actually, Letter C. And today we'll be talking about common sense. Also, today is August 19th, 2013. I know I've been away for a minute, but I've been doing a lot of things, and we just had our family uh, annual uh, loved ones bash in Fairmont Park, and it was very nice to see all the family and loved ones. So today, I'm going to start off by reading um, a scripture. And pardon me if you see my head going back and forth, because I'll be reading, because I wrote the notes down. And um, in Proverbs 2, 7 to 8, it actually is from the New Learning Testament, New Life Testament. It says, Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. And uh, I know a lot of people will say, well, why are you talking about common sense? And the reason why, uh, even when it came to my mind to talk about common sense, I was like, Lord, why common sense? And it hit me that a lot of people have lost their lives just for not having common sense. You know, common sense is something that we take for granted. And a lot of people do not have common sense. And so um, I didn't question God any longer and I just went on and tried to find some research on facts about common sense and then I'm going to talk about um, my own uh, idea of what common sense is. Some facts are that common sense is the ability to connect cause and effect before things happen. For instance, they gave uh, um, an example. This is off ask.com because usually I just throw in um, a question and see what comes up. And they came up with a, um, a um, an example about pregnancy, which a common sense will tell you that if you do not use a condom and have unprotected sex, then common sense will tell you that more than likely you're going to come up pregnant or with a disease. I mean, that's common sense, right? So I agreed with that example. And then it goes on to say, common sense involves making deliberate decisions about which you can predict the outcome. And then uh, another common sense they, um, example was that the more of a product that you serve uh, or need, the cost, it, it lowers the demand. So that's obvious, obvious you know, that... Um, and they also talk about that in a business class too. That if you have a product and and uh, you keep serving it and serving it, serving it, you know the ca the the cost will lower. After a while, people will not want it, especially if it's high. I got that backwards a little bit, but anyway, what I was trying to say is um, that if you have a certain product and you know you're trying to serve it and it costs too much, then the demand for that will go down. That's the common sense part of that um, idea is. Okay, and um, another uh, fact that came up, we just said that common sense is the obvious. You know, when you take a situation and you analyze it and what, uh, whatever obvious thought that comes to your mind basically is the common sense thought. So all of this I got from um, ask.com, but like I said, I, I brought it because I, um, I agreed with it. And then there's one other note that I have here from Kirk C. Klingler, K-L-I-N-G-L-E-R. He writes about common sense versus conventional wisdom. He says that society choose to rely on conventional wisdom rather than common sense, and that's why we are in the shape that we're in. And um, you can also go to www.weeches.com. W I E H E S dot com slash Klinsler and read more about that. And basically, what he was saying is that, like in, in po politics, you know, whereas common sense would tell you that you want to do what's best for the people, right? Just to make a long story short. But in conventional wisdom, they try to feel, make you feel like it's not about the people, 
it's about seeing far into the future and that's like conventional wisdom saying that they look out for the people that they could take care of today and um, take care of more in the future when in all reality you know it's a bunch of uh, uh, popery okay so now some points that I also want to uh, bring out is that wisdom is good sense you know it makes good sensible decisions along with knowledge and experience accumulated in learning now Wikipedia says and uh, I know most schools don't like using Wikipedia but when I'm trying to get to a point that's the first thing I grab Wikipedia said about wisdom is a deep understanding and realization of people things events or situations resulting in the ability to apply perceptions judgments and actions in keeping with this understanding uh, it's like a discernment uh, insight and I asked myself uh, what is the difference between common sense and wisdom now from the points that uh, Wikipedia made common sense is just about the same thing it's how you look at a situation how you apply it in your life and how do you choose to um, make those decisions now again when we're talking about common sense like going back to the pregnancy that's common sense if you know that uh, there's a chance of you getting pregnant by not using a condom and you choose to do it anyway then you're not using common sense if you're doing drugs and you know drugs kill or put you in jail or whatever it do then you're not using your common sense so for me this is coming from me now common sense means you when you do do not reach out and do the most dumbest things that you possibly can do okay just keeping it straight out you know you have to use common sense about certain things like common sense to me is like you do not walk out of your house at 12 o'clock at night with no help no nobody walk with you no protection and don't think that anything is not gonna happen to you now you're taking a chance you know but I'm just saying that's common sense to know if you're gonna go out the house at that late of an hour in the night then uh, common sense will tell you to get some help or, or take somebody with you now to say to use that as like wisdom you know wisdom is deeper than that we wisdom is deeper than common sense because as it says it goes along with knowledge and experience common sense is uh, like to me it's like a little a little baby part of wisdom it's the beginning of wisdom it's when you start using your common sense then you develop into having wisdom you understand what I'm saying you um, it's like baby steps that's what I was trying to say it's like baby steps to wisdom common sense is part of our survival instinct and a lot of people don't have survival instincts so therefore a lot of people don't have common sense you get me one plus one okay or one minus one however you want to think of it but common sense is baby steps to wisdom another thing is that if common sense will tell you if you have a seven up and you put some hot sauce in it it's gonna be nasty you don't need no wisdom to know that you know that's common sense it's common sense are just things that you just don't do or things that you realize you should or should not do but you do them anyway you know and I keep I don't know why I keep popping up in my head the common sense like dumb things you know just being dumb you know straight out but um, like I said there's not really much that I can break down to say what common sense is I just hope you have it and if you don't have it I hope you try to get it because it could save your life and it could save the life of somebody else too and you know, common sense tells you you know if the light is red and there's cars going back and forth where you want to cross you still want to step off 
you try to make it to the other side, common sense will tell you you're not going to make it. You know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, in Pro <laughs> forgive me. In Proverbs 1 to 5, it says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding, common sense, shall attain in, unto wise counsel. People, places, things, etc. Let me read that again. Proverbs 1, 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding, common sense, shall attain unto wise counsels, people, places, and things. Basically, what this breaks down is what I was saying earlier, that common sense is baby steps to wisdom. We live and learn. Our common sense will, be, will determine how far we go in life, practically, basically, okay? Our common sense will tell us to which degree we will have an understanding of the things that happen in our lives. Common sense will build our character. I'm telling you, common sense is very important because without it, without it, sometimes depends on our lives okay and so I hope this little uh, uh, time of uh, messages of the heart helped you at least if you don't understand a word of what I said I hope you will at least go and research for yourself because that's basically what I want to do I just want to throw things out there at you and then you use your common sense and go search for it yourself don't take my word for it, you know, but I'm going to try my best to give you the best of what I can give you as a message of my heart to you because I want to see you survive. I want to see you knowledgeable. I want to see you make it in this life. And I want to know that you will never, ever give up no matter what happens, no matter what comes before you. I don't care how far you fall or... You know or how bad it gets I just want you to know that there's always another way and somebody out there willing to give you some messages of the heart all right that's it for now and I ask you to remember this song that's playing ask God to have his way in your life today and um, remember common sense don't take it for granted okay all right peace out God bless